Caitlin Cullen. Roger Chadda. Charlena Bobi. My name is Robin Harvey. I'm Lauren Kahn. Justin Rodriguez. Kelsey Irvin. Brian Charnov. I live in Chandler, Arizona. San Antonio, Texas. I'm from China. San Francisco, California. I'm from New Delhi. When I was looking at colleges, I was looking for some place um, where, where I could be comfortable and also have a lot of opportunities and fun outside of school. For me personally, I didn't want a huge school. Obviously looked around at other schools and kept comparing them to WashU and just, I don't know. I just love the campus, love the people. I really wanted um, an experience that I felt I was coming to a community and felt like I was gonna be surrounded by people who really, really wanted to be where they were. I also knew that I really wanted to be challenged while I was there and I wanted to be inspired by the people around me. I had never heard of Washington University. My mom put it on my list. I visited and I just fell in love. I really wanted a place that was nice and friendly and happy and beautiful and all of those things definitely led me right here. I was inspired to come by the reputation of the school. WashU had the best uh, research capability for undergraduates to get involved in research, so it convinced me to go here. WashU has a larger proportion of that kind of intellectual rigor and openness. When I got here, I found that there's a lot more to it than just a name. They work with you to make sure you have everything in place and are really dedicated to giving you the education you want. I think the hallmark of our curriculum here at Washington University is its flexibility. Many students double major or even major in two minors, and they can really bring their disparate interests together. If you want to be an economics major, but you have a passion for photography, you can pick up a minor. If you have a professional interest, you can be in the business school, the engineering school, or the Sam Fox School of Design. They give me uh, an opportunity to, to explore, to choose whatever I want to study, and uh, to, to find what I really want to do. I'm supported by my friends, I'm supported by my professors, I'm supported by my plethora of advisors and mentors. And I, I think that one thing that really brings WashU students together is how diverse we are. There's a lot of collaboration and a, a true spirit of wanting your, your peers to do well. That's really been a great thing for me. We try whenever we can to get the learning outside of the classroom. I went to Florence, Italy, which was amazing because we got to learn on site, studying Michelangelo and da Vinci even in front of the pieces. There's so many different places you can study. I have friends who went to South Africa to print make, friends who are going to like Copenhagen, which is really cool. Everything's very relaxed, everything's very fun, and even though you know, there's good academics, it's also very easy to strike a balance between the two, between a social life and an academic life. That's what it really means to be a WashU student, is walking through the underpass the morning and seeing all the different banners and posters and the different events that are going on throughout the week. They have movie nights, they have concerts. This weekend, one of the guys on our floor had an acapella concert and like half our floor went just to like go support them, which was really nice and it was really awesome. Events on the swamp, like soccer or volleyball. Intramural sports here are huge. It's always good to go and always fun to watch the games. I play on the football team. I'm the captain of the rowing team. I run cross country and track. Women's basketball is also very strong. Wild was really fun. It's a big concert. There's always something to do. It's a pretty manageable campus. Here, everything is basically at a 10 minute walking distance. My favorite spot is definitely the art library. Whispers Cafe. It's always kind of busy and kind of hopping. It really gives you like a boost of energy. I'm always in the duck, which is like the place where you eat. I love the South 40. The South 40 is just basically 40 acres of, of dorm life, and it's awesome because it's like a community of its own. I'm kind of blown away every time I walk back there. The freshman and sophomore eating area is called Bear's Den. The food is great. The food. <laughs> Sitting down at tables, you know, having fun, hanging out, really just being able to catch up with everyone. I feel like I have the campus when I want it, but then there's also so many opportunities to get out into St. Louis and to get off campus. Having the free Metro Pass makes it easy from day one to kind of go out and explore and, and see what this city is all about go check out Forest Park, uh, go to the Art Museum, History Museum, 
the art museum is literally five minutes away and sledding down that hill on Art Hill is actually one of my favorite things to do when it snows. I have a class now that requires me to be at the zoo like every week or so. Right near the Loop in St. Louis. It's a great place to hang out off campus. And it's just a stretch of restaurants and there's a movie theater, a concert venue and hotels and stores. Honestly, the biggest surprise for me is the immediate neighborhood around Wash U. The park itself, like running through the park, it's, I think, I don't know how many times larger than Central Park, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Wash U is focused on the community and just this message of creating a better world through the things we learn here. This is a place where you have the opportunity to take advantage of a lot of different communities and a lot of different groups of people and um, to learn from them. And that learning here is not just all about being in the classroom. They take what they learn in the classroom and they apply it on their own initiative to make the world around them better. I hope that by the time a WashU student leaves, they've discovered their own unique way of connecting to the world and the people around them through what they've learned. I'm president of a student group called Controversy and Coffee. We bring in professors and students to have intellectual discussions outside the classroom about a wide variety of issues. There's an organization called Books and Basketball where you get to go mentor students by tutoring them and then playing basketball with them. Relay for Life is a big event that goes to kind of promote cancer awareness and raise money for cancer research. So really everyone's found some uh, niche where they can get really involved in community service, get involved in fundraising, and take on responsibilities that they've never seen before. The Career Center offers everything from simple resume review to mock interviews. It's pretty all-encompassing and they're, they're there all the time. They have a lot of programs and a lot of great ways for you to network. I'm going to try out Human Capital Consulting at Mercer. I'll be working at L'Oreal. I have an internship. I got an offer from Johnson & Johnson to work uh, in their R&D department. I have friends that are pre-med or even non-pre-med who are doing research or staying in St. Louis and working in research labs. I have a couple of friends who are actually starting companies and starting a business or working for a small company somewhere else. But what's really cool is that each one of us is doing something slightly different in a completely different area of the country. The biggest reason why you should come to Washington University in St. Louis, hands down, are the people. You're gonna meet a really, really incredibly diverse student body from all over the world. I think it's really important to come and actually see the campus and that's because that's for me that's how I knew I wanted to go. I don't understand how I got so lucky to go here. Academically I have grown more than I ever thought I would and I ever thought possible. I feel like WashU has given me the opportunities to be who I want to be as a leader, as a student. I'd be really surprised if anyone came here and didn't meet a student doing something extraordinary. A college search isn't a search for a school or a place that's going to be on the name of your degree. It's a place for your home for the next four years. It is the best decision I have made. It's been great so far. I'm excited for the rest.